all right y'all welcome back to another brand new video we're back for our weekly um predictions video it's gonna be time for stage four week two we're sorry we're gonna quickly go over our stage four week one predictions and then we're gonna hop right into it let's do it okay overall very very solid week um, we only got two games wrong. We got both of the double points wrong, uh, correct for a total of 21 points um, for our week. Uh, I'm, I'm very happy with that. Very happy with that. Um, so, um, yeah, I got most of them right. So, we got Atlanta over Paris, right? Um, I This is the one of the two that I got wrong. I thought I was saying Florida, you know, you never know. Sometimes they play great. Sometimes they play bad. Um, came out and they didn't smoke Toronto, but they took the series 3-2 over Toronto. So, hats off to them. Um, I got Dallas over London, right? I got Optic over Minnesota, right? And then the only game I got wrong, I kind of took, went on a limb here. I didn't actually fully believe this would happen, but I was trying to predict an upset. Uh, I got the upset wrong. It was here, not here. Um, Paris beating Minnesota didn't happen. Minnesota beat them, but I'm okay with taking a risk there. On one of the games every week, you kind of got to take a risk. There's always an upset. Um, I got Thieves over Seattle Surge, right? Close series, though. I thought it was going to be blowed. I ended up going 3-2. Um, I got New York over um, the Gorillas, right? Felt pretty confident about that. Um, I got Florida over London, right? I got Toronto over Dallas, right? And then I got Optic over Chicago, right? Um, or Optic over Chicago. Atlanta over Chicago. So, overall, 21-point week. Feeling great. Um, and next up is the Florida home series. Um, let's hop right into it. All right, so we have Atlanta face Seattle Surge. This is literally, there's 12 teams in the league. This is team number one versus team number 12, okay? Um, there isn't a farther distant matchup between teams with records. Um, so I'm going to go Atlanta phase. If Seattle wins, that's great. Um, obviously, I don't see that happening. I'm going to go Atlanta uh, 3-0 over Seattle. Now, here we have Dallas over the Gorillas. Two teams majorly struggling. Um, Dallas can't find their footing to save their lives. Um, Gorilla is just not the best team overall. Uh, I kind of figured Dallas was going to have a rough week last week. They made the change, switching to Vivid, and then they had to play right off the bat. Um, I think with an extra week of practice, they'll fine to that a little bit. I think they'll be good enough to beat the Gorillas. I don't know if they'll be able to beat other teams, but I think they're good enough to beat the Gorillas. So I'm going to take Dallas in a 3 1 over the uh, Gorillas. Now we have the Thieves versus Paris. LA coming off a win against Seattle last week. Was that their only match? It was. Um, Paris, I don't think the upset's here. I can't keep taking Paris for the upset every time. You know, that's not how it's going to work. But I'm going to take... <coughs> I'm going to take the Thieves here. Um, Paris just can't get much going. And it's hard to predict them to win a match when they just do it so inconsistently. So I'm going to go with Thieves. I'm going to go with Thieves in a 3-0 over Paris. Man, this is an amazing matchup. This is an amazing matchup. Subliners, Florida Mutineers. Think about Florida. They play great. They play horrible. Played great last week. Hey, won both their matches being Toronto, which is a win in itself no matter how you do it. And then um, handling London. Um, um, and then New York. So, I mean, Florida is very inconsistent for me. So, they had a great week here. So, I feel like this is, you know, where they're going to fall off and they're going to have a bad week. I'm going to take New York. Especially since New York has definitely been the more consistent team um, over time. So, I'm going to take New York in a 3-1 over Florida. All right. So, we got Toronto and the London Royal Ravens. Um, London getting pretty much handled last week by Florida. And I didn't get handled by Dallas. But they did lose to Dallas. Um, and they were up 2-1 in that series, too. London kind of threw that away. Um, Toronto, yes, they lost. But they lost to a very mood swing team of florida um i think toronto's fine as a team I, I i don't think they're going anywhere i think that's a that's an okay loss uh, i'm gonna take toronto here i'm gonna take them and actually in a 3-0 over uh london all right now as for a double points matchup cross my fingers it shouldn't get too much easier than this um optic paris optic obviously hasn't been the most consistent team they won one matchup lost one matchup last week but they lost to a good team they lost a phase um they should be able to beat paris um, I don't see why they shouldn't be able to, especially after last week. They got to win more games to stay up and try and get in that winner's bracket along with FaZe. Um, so I'm definitely going to take Optic here. I'm going to take Optic in a 3-3-3-3-0 three, 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 over Paris. All right. Minnesota Rocker, Seattle Surge. Uh, Minnesota, <laughs> Seattle not getting the best draw in the world this week. They're having to play Atlanta and Minnesota in the same week. 
Um, I don't really think it matters too much because I think they're both losses. I'm definitely going to take Minnesota here. Seattle's too inconsistent, too many roster changes. Nothing's working. I feel bad for them because they do look like they're trying really hard. Um, and it's just not getting put together. But I'm going to take Minnesota here. I'm going to take Minnesota in a 3-1 over Seattle. All right, next up we got Florida Gorillas. Now, these two teams I hate betting on. Um, never goes well. But out of this, I actually think this will be a more consistent game for the Gorillas. Watch this. This is going to go five games. This is going to go five games. It's going to go in the way of Florida, but it's going to go five games. I'm going to take Florida 3-2 over the Gorillas. All right, next up we got the FaZe and the Thieves. Um, FaZe are just... I mean, hey, they're borderline untouchable. It's so hard to bet against them. Um, so I'm not going to bet against them here. I'm going to take them, even though their first loss of the year was to Gorillas. That's so crazy. Um, I'm going to take FaZe here. Uh, LA still getting used to their new roster change and... Uh, I don't think it's good enough to beat Atlanta. Definitely not right now. So I'm going to go phase. Um, I'm going to go phase in a 3-1 over the Thieves. Last match, we got the Subliners and the Empire. I don't know how many teams, how many times these teams have played this year. Um, but I do think this is where Dallas is going to show up. They had a rough week last week. New York has been consistent. Um, but if they have struggled with one team, it has been Dallas. So I'm going to take Dallas uh, in a close one. I'm going to take Dallas 3-1 two over the subliners that's pretty much gonna conclude my picks for stage four week two we got atlanta dallas uh l uh the thieves the subliners toronto optic minnesota florida phase again and the subliners again or sorry the dallas again but anyways hope you guys have enjoyed this video i'm gonna go ahead and save my predictions lock them in we had a great week one hopefully we can turn that with a nice week two um to really put ourselves up on that leaderboard. If you guys want to play, you guys can always join me. Join my leaderboard. It's please play and password 1234. Uh, if you guys don't want to play, make sure to go ahead and join that. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys want more of me, make sure to follow my Twitter and Twitch down below. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out.